lot of people are hoping for that tonight. People who live in one Detroit neighborhood, in fact, say they are looking forward to having an emergency financial manager in the city. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is live from City Hall tonight. And Cheryl, what did these residents say to you tonight about an EFM? Well, you know, Carolyn, they are very happy, but you know, they also know that a lot has happened to get to this point. There have been a lot of people who have been concerned and upset, but there are people in the neighborhood who welcome the EFM. I'm excited because something is finally being done. Some positive energy coming tonight from the people in the Ravendale community, an east side neighborhood that wants and needs help. They are hoping the EFM can fix things like the lights that are dark and the homes that are vacant and dangerous and the trash that litters the streets. They just want to see their city cleaned up. They want to see their garbage picked up. They want to see their lights on. Right. We got a lot of vacant buildings, vacant houses, and uh, clean up. We've got uh, dumps, people dumping in the city and whatever. Why haven't the uh, uh, problems been solved? So, so I'm glad something is being done. They say they're tired of waiting and watching the fighting at City Hall. They believe the governor thought carefully about who to choose for an emergency financial manager, and they want to give him a chance. They question the protesters who want to fight this, wondering out loud if they, the demonstrators, have a better idea. Do what marching go do? Wear out your shoes. Do they have a solution? Can they get the garbage picked up? So Tony McElwain, who's won awards for her upbeat outlook and her work in the community, is saying tonight to Kevin Orr, call on me because we welcome you. I would love to work with him. I feel, I've always said that we as grassroots leaders can help change our own environment if only given an opportunity and the resources to get it done. We can help. Now today, the governor, the mayor, and Kevin Orr, who will likely have an office right here at City Hall, they said this is a team effort. And after talking to people in the neighborhoods tonight, I think a lot of people will step up to the plate. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.